Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Dolly Deji here and this is my Halloween market prep Halloween crochet video. I'm gonna be making some Halloween inventory, Halloween stock for my market and my website if I'm not lazy. So I'm all over the place right now but I do have a list in front of me of things I need to talk about. So so first, I have a list of things I want to make on my Good Notes app, and I highlighted the things that I want to make first. I know it's so. Here's kind of my little list. I don't know if you guys can see it, but keychains. I'm gonna start off with the little stuff. The keychains. I want to make some ghost keychains and some pumpkin keychains. And then Amigurumi, I'm going to do some mini ghost plushies that are cheaper. And then the pumpkin ghost, the popular thing that I sold at my other markets. And I do want to make a Halloween Hello Kitty character. I was thinking of making my Chucky Hello Kitty, but I don't know. It takes a little long, but I should do it. And a pumpkin decoration with the, I don't know if you guys know, the half double crochet pumpkin. It is not crocheted in the round. But yeah, I want to make those because they're so easy and fast to make. And everybody loves pumpkins, so. And then for the hats, oh, another thing. I want to make a spooky cow, like a pumpkin cow or like a purple cow or something. Hats, I wanted to make some more of these hats and then some red and black hats, like vampire. I also wanted to try to make a bonnie beanie. Not a bonnie beanie, Freddy beanie. And try to make a bonnie beanie. Because Final Fantasy Freddy's is scary. And tote bags, I wanted to maybe make another... Halloween granny square tote bag. I have one sitting over here. It didn't sell last year, so I kept it for myself. So I might make another one or like a smaller version. And I do want to make a spooky cake box. I have a small box that I'm going to use this time. Make it a little smaller and cuter. Because the bigger ones take longer. And I also wanted to maybe do a Halloween garland for my market. And it is August 27th. My market is September 8th, which is next, almost next Saturday. I don't know. I got this week, next week, and then boom, market. So yeah, that's a stock, and I'm going to show you the yarn I have in this bag that I'm ready to prep, that I have like ready. So, you know, we need white for the ghost, orange, black, uh, the skinny yarn, you know what I'm talking about, black, red. Big Twist Orange, and this is the Red Heart Saver Pumpkin color. These are for the keychains and the pumpkins. And then the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the shopping list, cause you see I got like a little ball of some things. A red that I didn't use yet. Black, white, a full white. And I'm gonna get another white because you know Hello Kitty, that's my favorite thing to make. So I'm gonna need a lot of white. So that's the yarn I have my bag ready and out because I stored my yarn under the bed and stuff so okay talked about our list so shopping our shopping list we're gonna go to Joanne sometime this week most likely Friday or something when I'm off work because going to a store after work is draining so this is not really Halloween related but I do need some tan plush yarn some white plush yarn stock that up pumpkin yarn the yarn that was a little bit left. Some orange big twist because we're gonna be making some hats. And I think I need some black felt because I'm like, I'm not running low, but it's getting to the point where I'm gonna need some more black felt. So yeah, that's our shopping list. All right, what else, what else, what else? As you can see, Peppa's in the background. I haven't updated, updated you guys on Peppa. I don't know if I did or not, but Peppa. As you can tell in the last two vlogs, she got spaded and she is healed up now. Hey, Peppa. You scared? Yep, she's all good now. She's eating, you know, and I'm still trying to bond the cats. So yeah, that's taking time. Also, let me show you guys the little decorations I have so far. Target dollar spot, Target dollar spot, Target dollar spot. This is from Spirit Halloween from last year. <laughs> This is my Hello Kitty stuff that's like unorganized. And then I got my Hello Kitty plushie right here. This keeps falling down. Oh my gosh. And then this little glass thing. I think I got that from Dollar Tree. 
and then my little scary baby doll that I got from the witch's market from Psycho Barbies. Yes, yeah, she makes scary dolls. She hand painted this and it's so cute. So we're gonna get started on this Halloween stock. I did order some new safety eyes so I was running low. But I think I am done with this because you gotta be too gentle with it. With this, you don't have to. This is just too gentle. And then this is all the pumpkin yarn we have left. So we're going to just do keychains for now. And then when we go to Joanne, we can start making the bigger ones. And yeah, so we're going to get started on these little pumpkins. Okay, so the pumpkins that I'm doing that are fast, they're like the half double crochet back loops. And then you like go through the hoops, loops, go through the loops, and then close the hole. Go through the loops at the top, close the hole, make sure you stuff it. And then I just make this little stem. But I'm making a mini version right now because I have a little bit of yarn until I'm available to go to the store. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with this length. I'm gonna count out the rows, so just in case you guys wanna do it. And then we're gonna close the bottom, do the top, and it's gonna be a little pumpkin. So I started off with 10 chains. Let's see how many rows of half double crochet back loop only. Let's see how many I did. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, so we did 12. I'm gonna leave a long tail so we can close the bottom and a long tail to close the top. So I'm gonna like, just eyeball this. I'm gonna just leave a long, long tail because you don't know what's actually. I need to fix my posture. Oh my god, my posture has been so bad. Let me get my Valerie crochet pull out. It helps your posture and stuff. I'm gonna link it down below, and then I do have a discount code. I think I'm gonna add that on the screen because I don't remember it from the top. But yeah, I need to keep my posture up if I'm about to be crocheting long. But I got the tail, and now we're going to close this up and stuff it, and then, wait, actually I have to make the stem, so probably just going to do four single crochets in a magic circle and just make it any length, to be honest. So yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. So I'm going to sew these, I'm going to sew them like, I'm going to sew this part to that part, and it's going to be like this. And then we're going to close the bottom and then we're going to stuff and then close the top. You can already see it. Oh my God, it's so cute. I close the bottom it just looks like a tiny little beanie which is basically that's how you make beanies that pattern but oh my wait wait why is this cute though wait hold on hold on hold on, hold on. let me put it on her it's not even done oh it can't even fit on her head wait 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 actually it does it does wait no it don't no it don't wait it it does it does wait oh my god it does not. it keeps slipping off Mm, I added the eyeballs. I don't know if I'm feeling it. I don't. I'm not ready for this. This is the cutest thing on earth. For like, look at this little bitty pumpkin. I forgot that this was supposed to be a keychain, but look at this little bitty pumpkin. Oh my god, it's so freaking cute. Uh, I want to eat this. I want to eat this. Just make some more of these little cute little tiny little pumpkins. They're so cute. I'm even thinking about not even making them to keychains because they're just so cute by themselves. You know, people just want a little pumpkin, you know. Ugh. I don't know why, but I'm getting sleepy. But I don't need to be. I need to get to work. But 
I got three done so far and I think I made the decision of I think I made the decision of just keeping them as is and not keychains because I just think they look so like cute like this I don't know why they're just super duper cute hopefully people like them but this is all the yarn I have left and I wanted to do a fourth one because I already made the stem for it so let's see if I can make a fourth one y'all I'm so mad because I literally have this much yarn left and I'm on bro I'm on row 10 I just need to get the row 12 but I don't know if it's gonna happen maybe this one could just be a little smaller because I do not want to stop here and then just have an unfinished pumpkin I want to have So I got two ghosts done and four pumpkins and that's how much I got done before work. Hey guys, couple days later. Today I think I just got done with two today. I think so. I don't really remember but yeah I just got done with two or three today. I think I got three done today. But I'm about to start making the little mini ghosts. Mm -hmm. big twist t-shirt yarn i kind of like that color i might get that they also just restocked their big twist big twist posh yarn i've been waiting on that for like literally when i say literally months i lost interest it, wait, it took so long for them to restock it i even worked there and i'm like when are we getting this big twist and now that i don't work there just there all of a sudden but yeah they got these other burnout blanket yarn these new little patterns it looks so cute I like it and then we have like what is this like the chenille big twist yarn looks pretty interesting and then here's the regular yarn section I'm getting my orange yarn that I need So getting my pumpkin yarn that I need. I took it out the package because that one was the cleanest, I guess. That my carts. Let's see. I was just looking at these other patterns that look so cute. Giving fall vibes. Still have the woo blues yarn in here now and it's so cute but i don't feel like buying every color but like it is a great if you're learning how to crochet go get that yarn right now like i'm not joking go get that yarn right now they also have these little like big twist rolls and i can't i'm doing a voiceover so i can't even read what it says <laughs> i was too shy to talk in a store anyways we're back okay so i just got back from joanne and then pet smart and walmart i ran a couple errands and I got some yarn. I didn't get all the yarn I needed. I got some yarn I wanted. 
and I got like some little beads. Keep my receipts. So of course I'm gonna need it some white, some white yarn. I needed this orange from Big Twist. I needed the pumpkin color from Red Heart Savory Yarn, the rough yarn. Uh, I needed some more black felt. I was running low, you know, for the faces and stuff. Posh was back in stock. Big Twist Posh. So I'm going to try the white and maybe make some like cinnamon roll, cinnamon roll characters. And then my, make my bunnies with the bow again with this yarn. I love crocheting with it. It's, it's so smooth. And what else, what else? I got this blue Big Twist yarn because I don't have this color and I just thought it was pretty. I'm gonna probably try to make something with it, like a dinosaur or I don't know. Maybe I might need this color for something. Or maybe Tuxedo Sam. I think he's that color. Also, Big Twist's other new yarn, the t-shirt yarn. I got this green, which is my favorite color green. This is my favorite green. I was thinking of making that, I don't know if you guys seen it, the book. It's like a book sleeve purse. It's like a purse. You can put your book in it. And it's like a cute little like messenger bag. And I was going to probably like use this yarn for it. It's just like super thick. So I'm going to probably make this with a bag. And yeah. And then I also bought a bag to use. Just because I needed, I needed another reusable bag. They didn't have any like cute ones out. Or maybe I didn't see them. So I just got the black little bag. So it has some yarn in it. So, yep, this is all a little yarn I got. I got one of these done. I don't think I'm going to make any more because it was kind of, it kind of took long. I thought it was quicker than I, like, I remember it being quicker because I made some at my market, but this is the old one, this is the new one. You can tell there's a little color difference because of the different dye lot and it's probably been fading in the sun because it haven't sold but they're just so cute little pumpkins i'm gonna just start this beanie i need to make some hats so hello guys so i'm in my bonnet right now yesterday i think i finished a pumpkin and i got started on a hat and it is the next day and i'm almost done with one of the hats and then after this hat i am going to make a red and black one Also, fun fact, since I am from Cincinnati, this is technically the Bengals colors, and people always think it's a Bengals hat. It's not, but if y'all want to call it that, you can. So it's been a couple days later. This hat is literally almost done. We still doing Halloween stuff, and I wanted to make some crochet hooks for my market, and I just came up with this idea. I was like, I'm going to make some Halloween crochet hooks, so I'm going to do that. And I do want to make some stitch markers. I don't know if I have time. So I'm going to I want some Halloween crochet hooks at my market and on my website. And what else? What else? What else? What? Oh my God. She's so clingy. So yeah, I've been working on this freaking hat. And nothing much. I've just been working, busy. Plans don't work out. And then I change the plans to the next day. And it kind of puts me behind my work. And then another thing I'm worried about is posting reels and TikToks. I'm just sick of doing it. It's just so annoying having to worry about reels and TikToks. And I just want to focus on YouTube only in my markets, to be honest. And the website stuff is just pretty annoying. Like, I'm just paying for a rep. Basically, just paying for a website, like $40 a month. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And then I just want to add everything to my website. Definitely my crochet hooks to my website. It's just... It's very hard running a business, like, if you don't know, like, especially if you work in a part-time job on the side. It's just, it gets very overwhelming, just want to let you guys know that, but I'm trying to balance it all. I'm trying not to let my head explode. But yeah, let me just finish this head up, and then I want to make some crochet hooks today. Get some more Halloween done, get some more cute stuff out. Alright, I just finished the black and red hats 
Let's put this on. I'm gonna try it on. Oh my god, it's so cute. And the little cat ears. It is so cute. So now I'm about to eat and I think I want to make some crochet hooks. Alright guys, I just made the crochet hooks. I'm trying something different this time. So instead of trying to put the, the toppers on top of the crochet hooks, I'm going to bake them and then super glue them. I kind of paint these over with white because they are not as white because they mixed in with a little bit of black. But I don't know, maybe I won't because it's kind of doing too much, but. Okay guys, so I figure out the cake thing I want to do. So for this small cake, I'm going to do black icing with the orange icing on the side. Here's a picture of that. I'm going to do that for the small one. And then for the big one, I am doing orange icing, like the base of the cake orange. And then with this light purple was the icing. Do a little spider. Ugh. Spiders. Ugh. Sorry. I only do this for Halloween. I don't like, I don't mess with spiders. I don't do all that. But yeah, that's what we're about to be doing. I'm going to try to look for some Halloween beads. And I also forgot that I had this too. But you know, I'm just probably going to crochet it and then sew it on because these will get pulled off by a five year old kid at my market. Hello guys I think it's two days later I don't know but I got the small cake done well it's not done yet but it's on top and I still have to glue it and then you know adjust the the cute parts you know it looks it looks like it's not on all the way cuz it's not done I don't know why I said it was done but and I'm on a second one the orange and purple one and then I have some beads that I'm probably gonna Try to super glue them on there instead of hot glue. My crochet hooks, they got messed up. I was trying to do the glaze for the crochet hooks and the glaze was like smudging the po the poxky, whatever they call Posca markers. They're literally smearing and it's so annoying. I could enter a clip here. Yeah, they're smearing. I kind of fixed them up, but I'm gonna stop. Like I was, I'm not even done covering it up with glaze. I'm gonna stop, and I think I'm just gonna do resin. First batch I made of mine, and then I think I'm gonna just go back to resin because I feel like it's more secure. And I think if I keep doing the glaze, it's just gonna smear and smear, and then the pasta is gonna erase. It. I don't know. I'm still in the test mode of these these crochet hooks. And I'm still learning. Well yeah, those got a little messed up. I've kind of fixed it, but not really. Alright guys, time for the big reveal. Oh my gosh, y'all. The beads make it like a thousand times more cute like i don't know what what the beads are doing but they're like i don't know like this this what time is it it's 6 38 i've been working on these all day i think so mostly this and it takes a lot of details and i did not use the hot glue gun to glue the beads down i used the e6000 glue and I'm going to wait 24 hours to touch and test to make sure they stay. I pray to God they do because they're so cute. And if not, I'm going to try to hot glue them, which means they are easy to come off if they're hot glued. But I think the super glue is going to do good because I don't know. I think I really hope so. That's what someone recommended. But oh my gosh, it's so cute. I don't want to touch nothing to 24 hours. So tomorrow at like six, we can test it out. See, is everything good? But these are the cakes and they're done. I cannot believe I made two cakes in like two days. I wanna show you guys what happened with the glaze. It smeared the freaking paint. And it's not even paint, it's like the paint markers. And I only did the front side, so the rest of it is like matte. 
This one, I noticed it was smearing, so I did it real carefully. This one, I didn't even notice. Hold on. You can see it's like erased, so I have to redraw them on. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm about to do. This, yes, you can see it's smeared, but it don't look too bad. It actually looks a little spooky. But, I don't know if you guys ever seen an episode of Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood when you're like... It was like an episode of like mistakes when doing art that you have to like... You could fix the mistake by making it like cute. I don't know. Like you have to find it, make it cute. Like look, you see how it was smeared? It's it's pretty spooky because it's like a pattern that's like smearing down. <laughs> Y'all know I love my PBS kids, but okay guys, next project. We are about to try to make a Hello Kitty skeleton plushie based off of the little walker from like Walgreens. You guys see? I'm gonna try to make that with the not Mitchell pattern. I seen some inspo on Instagram and stuff. I was like, oh my god, that's a good idea. I never thought of that. But yeah, so we're going to try to recreate that with the little skeleton bones. Hopefully it looks good. I'm not going to show myself crocheting this Hello Kitty. We're just going to do like a magic trick real quick. And then I'm about to just literally do this. And then when I pull it back, it's going to be finished. So see you guys when it's done. The Hello Kitty is done. The skeleton Hello Kitty. Oh my gosh. Wait, does her whiskers look great? Right? It'll be fine. It's it's Halloween. But yeah, this is her costume. She's wearing a skeleton costume. Costume. Her tail in the back. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is just how I wanted it to be. So we got her. We're all done here. I also wanted to make a, a pumpkin cow. So I'm going to see if I feel like doing that. So we got the cow colors right here. And we're about to do the same thing we did with the skeleton. So I'm going to do this, bring it back out, and the cow's going to be done. Hopefully today. We're going to do that trick, and then it's going to be done. I'm getting it done today. I don't care. All right, so one, two, three. And we're done. I got it done last night. Let me turn this down. I put some uh, cat TV on the TV in as well. And this is our pumpkin cow. I put a little pumpkin embroidery on the like side. And I put a little orange heart on it. So cute. That's the last thing we're making. The market is tomorrow. Now I'm about to do an overview of everything I made. So let's go. I think first we made five ghost keychains. And then we made four little pumpkins. I'm not gonna make them into keychains. They're just gonna be like little pumpkins. And then four little ghost plushies. I made some of those. I added the blush later on. I did that last night. Two pumpkins. Well, I made one pumpkin. You can obviously tell this is the older one because of the dye lot. This one's a little different. This one's brighter. This is the new one. This is the old one from last year that I never sold. So I got two of them. And then what did I make next? Crochet hooks. I made some of my handmade crochet hooks. Here's the purple one. And you know we went through some trial and error with the the um the glaze. Orange one. This is the one is the, the one that's messed up the most. And the black ones are the ones that are they got saved. That one and they're both five millimeters. And by the time this video is out, they are on my website if they have not sold at my market. And then I printed out a little sticker to put in this little thingy. So these are the ghost crochet hooks. Oh my god. And then we made some stitch markers with the crochet hooks. They're set sold separately though. Some little bitty ghost stitch markers. They're so cute. Yeah, so we made those. They come in a pack of two. And we made some cake boxes. So this is the first little one we made. This is the one with the little chocolate, the orange. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And then the second one, which is the bigger one, is the orange icing with the purple icing and then the little beads on top. And the little ghost, I, I put a, a witch hat uh, bead on it. And it's holding a little pumpkin and I did bigger eyeballs. And it's so cute, oh my god. It's so pretty, oh my god. And then after that, actually I think I did the hats before the cake boxes. So I did my 
my traditional black and orange cat beanie, which people think are the Cincinnati Bengals. And then I'm out of breath. I don't know why I'm out of breath. Okay, I made a black and red one. You know, like vampire vibe. Speaking of vampire vibes, I just got back from the yard sale and I found three of the other um, Twilight books. This is the one I already had, I already read it. I already watched all the movies after I read the book. So now I have the three other books, which I'm gonna read because you know the movies are different from the books and I can't wait to see what happens. And then we made a Hello Kitty skeleton Hello Kitty wearing a skeleton costume plushie and it is so freaking cute. I tried my best to make the bones and she got a black bow. Ooh, oh my god, I don't want the video to be over. It's so cool. Most of the stuff is probably going to be gone and I'm going to miss it. Last but not least, my last minute make that I wanted to make to fulfill my needs was a pumpkin cow. We got a pumpkin cow done. Oh my gosh, look at the little tail. I did a little pumpkin embroidery as you guys already, I already showed you guys this part. And then a little heart and then you know pumpkin 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 so yes that's everything we did in our halloween crochet video i i want to do more there may be a part two to this video because first of all it's only september 7th and we got more weeks in. comment down below what's the favorite thing i made in this vlog I think my favorite one will be this cake, of course, because it looks so good and it is so pretty. Our Halloween market prep. All of this will be in my market vlog tomorrow. Okay, so that's the end of the Halloween market prep. Make sure you guys like and comment if you want more seasonal preps like Valentine's Day prep, Christmas, winter, summer, spring. And yeah, just let me know. And if you guys want to see all of this stuff in my market, just make sure you watch the next video. And if it's not out yet, then you gotta wait a little bit because I'm probably behind on editing. Like and subscribe if you want more videos from me. Make sure you please comment. Comment with your favorite one. Comment some things that you made during this Halloween season. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah.